die. What is up with these guys actually hurting me? Whoa. Alright, time to play serious. What? He freaking countered it. Yeah, I'm not wasting any more potions. I'm just gonna start spamming the food. That's the problem though. Every time you eat food, it just returns you to the game. What if I wanna eat multiple foods? Now I gotta keep selecting it. Alright, so there's like one guy up here. Hey, bro. Oh, no. Sorry, lad. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Let me see. Oh, I forgot that. I, what else am I missing? Oh, it's just a resurrection file. Nice. I like to keep a full resurrection file, so we only need one more at the max amount. I've used maybe like four or five of them. No, probably like three or no, like four of them in my last playthrough. They're very useful. So, am I done with the quest already? Hello, mate. Nice bandit gear. This here is Twin Blades Camp once you're in. You're in for good. So, feel free to get changed when you... Another one coming in, Joe. Open the gate. Because it would be nice if I can get rid of this mustache. I don't know about you. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't think so. Hold on. I want to see if I can... Yep. Damn it. All right. I'm stuck here. Gonna have to hero save it. I don't want to hear a save, so I think I might just do this all in one run. It's not hard. It can't. It can be done. Okay, this part is tedious. You have to get a passport or like a little card or something in order to get in, and you have to. Eat. There's two ways: play a game that will give it to you for free, or pay this guy some money. Now, the problem is, is that I can never get the game working. Like the guy I talked to him, but I can't activate it. So I usually end up having to pay for it anyway. Let's see if I can try it. Ah, another mug. I haven't seen you around here. Tell you what, I'm fit. If you can beat me at a game, come back and talk to me. See? This is won't give me the fucking mission. Almost. I don't see where to activate it. I see I walk around. There's nowhere to activate it. I've checked every Oh, what the hell? Hello. What, what type of defense? To win a spot the addition, you must complete several rounds in a set amount of time. Each round consists of two phases. Uh huh. What takes your fancy? Continue betting. How much will I bet? A minimal bet. Might as well bet one. Okay, so. What? Wait, what? I don't understand this. How about another game? How much will you bet? I. What? Hold up. Okay, so okay, so it's Wolf Boot Door. What? I don't. Oh, am I supposed to get? Guess the new one. Oh, okay, okay. I see where. I, okay, I get it. I get it. Okay, so Apple Wasp Headstone. Apple Wasp Headstone. Okay, so you won the round. Yeah, I get it now. Okay, okay, the game was very unclear. This guy's new. You won the round. Okay, let's see. So it's some fish thingy, skull, boot, and apple. Uh, sword. You won the round. Let's see. So, oh god, okay, flowers, apple, mushrooms, tombstone, fish, and thing about, okay. Uh, ah, oh, I don't remember. Wasp? You won the round! Yes. Okay, one more round, okay, wasp, skulls, okay, uh. Oh, it's definitely has to be this. I don't even know what that is. You're the first bandit You're the I've first band that I've seen with the brains to beat my game. In fact, are you sure you're even? Ah, oh, well, never mind. I said you would win my pass if. Nice. I didn't even know. All right, so this is a guy where you can pay. We can pay him. Guess you already got a pass. Now you can't pay him a second time. Uh, 
he can't so it doesn't matter oh yeah so if you don't have the money the game kind of gives you 500 to start off like hey you ain't got it i got you back start like that no i want to i want to get it at night time yeah that's it need someone to watch your back i don't need him I, I bought him the last time, but I don't need him right now. Maybe maybe when I'm doing a side quest here, it's a fucking annoying ass side quest. Oh my god. Ah, you know what it is? Okay, so there's um it's it's a very repeatable side quest. Like it happens it's like it happens over and over again, but just in different locations with different enemies. It's pretty much this. Some traitors get kidnapped or whatever and they get kidnapped for whatever reason, you gotta free them now. Here's the thing. The best way I find to do this is to probably just... I don't know. Free the traders one at a time. Sometimes it works. I've pulled it off, and it, it's pretty hard. But it can be done. It took me two tries, actually. The first try, trader died on me. Now, these guys won't care if you break their barrels. Oh, God. I, I wasn't even aiming for that barrel. Probably wondering why I'm waiting for nighttime. I'm waiting for the Fight Club. That's right, there's Fight Club in Twins Camp. Yeah, I know, right? Freaking Fight Club. Or, well, that's not what it's called, but I call it Fight Club. Is it up here? Oh, yeah, they're coming right now. See? There he is. I know, right? So, I rec this is why I strongly recommend to do Bowerstone and Oakvale Fight Club first. That way, you can be eligible for this one. It's a great way to make money and I'm the head of this. I see you clashed you up to take up. You'll get gold. You yeah, it's pretty you cheap might to just so. get in. God, that mushroom is disgusting. Oh, yeah, and also, there's something that always I keep forgetting to address. Okay, so here's the thing Scars. Why do you get them? How do you get them? And whatever. So here's the thing. So the thing about the scars in this game is that what happens is this, when you get hurt, um, I explained this already about the scars, but I didn't explain one more thing. Scars, uh, you can't, or no, I think I, did I do this already? I probably did. Whatever. I don't need to explain the scars, unless, if you need me to explain the scars, just tell me next video and I'll do it. Okay. But I'll tell you one thing though. You can't really, you cannot get rid of them. I don't know if if I said that in the previous video, and they they just get worse. There's no way they can get better. Some people like the scars. I think the scars are pretty cool, but there's a point where you have way too many. I think there's mods that allows you to remove them permanently, or like use medicine to get rid of the scars and shit. I don't know, but I don't want to mod this game because uh, from what people tell me, it's very very difficult to mod this game. Like very difficult. Then. Like if you're not a modder like at heart, like if you're not, if you don't mod a lot, don't bother. This is like one of those games that you have to be a pro modder to do. Uh yeah, and I'm. I even have. I can't even mod San Andreas for Christ's sake. I'm still trying to do that, and Steam just keeps pulling that. No man. Like I've been trying to downgrade it to version one for a while now, and I keep like it doesn't downgrade. Oh my God! Move to the side, damn it. I don't want to get caught in this guy's punches. All right, here we go. This is the same technique you have to do for a lot of uh, heavy enemies in the game that you encounter later. You just gotta keep dodging until you get behind them and then just beat the crap out of them. A, a lot of times, it's not one on one. It's not as fair as this. It's like a bunch of enemies, so it's pretty difficult. How the hell did he freaking broke it? Damn! I wish it was like a super attack where like, you can dodge, where you can just break the fences like that. It'd be pretty cool. Here we go. Next guy. So each circle just increases in difficulty, obviously. Like, uh, it requires more hits to, to hurt them, and it requires less hits to get home. In other words, let me put it this way. The first one, like, you see that little health bar to the right? That's your health bar. Not the, I thought it was the enemy's, but nope, it's yours. Here's the thing. The enemy, that health bar, is your health, and it shows how many hits you have to take before you knock out. And the problem is that... As the uh, gets worse, uh, the hits that they have to give you gets less. So in other words, they have to hit you less times to hurt you, and you have it takes more hits to beat them up. And the problem is, is that 
a lot of times you encounter these like the early like uh let me put it this way it's not hard to do it but if you want to get max money it's pretty tough because max money you can't get hit and this and uh when you fight the bosses like these guys those tattoo dudes that uh have terrible fashion or whatever yeah these guys are tough like they're not tough but they, if, if you get if they get you in a combo you're done you just gotta keep dodging, hoping they they don't they don't get you in the combo. See, he got me in the combo, and he, he screwed me over. I'm almost dead. I better hope that I finish him off now. Okay. Oh my God, that was so close. Two points. Left. Oh no, did I lose? I think I lost. We get too far. Did I lose? Oh wow. I think I lost because I pushed because I got pushed out the ring too much. Oh dick. Really? Okay, fine. I'm gonna hand the twin blade and I'll be back to pwn those guys. That's probably. They should put like some sort of. They should put some sort of. Uh. You gotta put some sort of warning. Like, warning, you are about to. Step out of the situation or whatever. I don't know. The boss told me to look after this, and that includes not letting it. And that's oh, yeah. I'm okay, so this is what you gotta do two ways the good way, the bad way. The good way is to let out these slaves, and, and then they're gonna run away and attract the attention. The bad way is to hire some assassins. Now, the reason why I don't like to do the bad way is very, very simple. The bad way costs money. Wow, well, way more than shit. I'm like, what? Alright, like. And uh, as for the good way, to look at twin blades and ain't they just love it? Okay, now this is uh, an easy way to pull this off. Okay, so so ladies, looking forward to twin blades entertainment. So you gotta kill the guy. Uh, I don't think you can really stealth kill him because in order to stealth kill somebody, they already have to be hostile towards you. So. If you try to hit him, they probably like you won't be able to hurt him. But uh, yeah, he's pretty easy to kill, especially with this one. So you just feed the chicks. Thank you so much. Not a picture. I thought we were going to die, but we have to leave quickly before the guards notice. Now get on out of here. All right. I think I have to fight another guy. Uh, nope. Okay, now it's time to well done, deal open. with Twin Blade. Go to Twin area now. Well so the guy should be gone, and we should be able to go in. Yep. I like how the gate just like. Wait, is that close? I don't know. I I don't understand why they make this shit so big. Those gates look like they're made for giants. And there's not really giants in this game, and even if there is, I mean, there's, there's giant-like enemies, and they're not that fucking huge. Stand by, lads! Twinblade wants a word with this little hero! been fed for days. You don't look like much of a meal, though. You sure about that? Draw your blade. Draw my blade. Guilt puppet. Let's see what you're Let's made of. Well, you're made I don't know about you, but... Yeah. How are you physically existing? <laughs> That's what I think. Alright, so I don't think you attacks you until you pull it out. And, uh, Okay, so it's a one-on-one -on -one fight, it's very easy, but here's the thing, if you stray too much, uh, what will happen is his people will actually harm you. So, it can get dirty, which you just do, the plan is simple, try to get far away from him so he can do this attack, where he, uh, he jumps on you. Okay, see, as you can see, these guys are attacking, alright, see? 
Okay. God damn it. Okay. So, this is the attack I was talking about. You just get behind him and start smacking him away. It doesn't do much damage, especially if you don't get it on time. But the goal is to just, you know, just keep dodging and try not to get into that freaking edge of the map. I mean, of the edge, because then these guys just start doing that crap. Okay, so he's stuck. Repeat and rinse. Rinse and repeat, I guess. I believe you can only hit him once before that shit. Before he gets up. Alright, just do it already, bro. Oh, God. This is ridiculous. Okay, there we go. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, I think you can only hit him once, and after that, you just gotta wait. Yeah, he freaking hit me. Come on, Twin Blade. Nope. Nope. Come on, B. See if you can hit me. No. What did I say about helping your friends, dude? It's not cool. Yeah, so a lot of, you know, if you haven't figured out by now, a lot of the bosses you fight throughout this game are enemies. They're former heroes. Which I find is pretty ironic, because I keep feeling like, oh god, what if, what, I'm, what if I become that? But not really. You won't, unless you take the evil side. But, you know, if you're doing the good side, you won't. I'd do the same for you. There you are. Plot twist! Don't you recognize your own sister? Her past once again before her, Teresa's memories returned in a blaze of fire. Oakvale was burning. She watched in silence as the bandits tortured her mother, then turned to her with questions of the missing boy. She answered them only with a stare, and so their leader sliced out her eyes. The raiders took the boy's mother and left Teresa alone in the forest. There she crawled for three days, blind and desolate, until she was found by bandits, Twinblade and his men. She began a new life of servitude among their clan. But the bandit king sensed her exceptional strength and power of will and listened as she whispered dark prophetic truths in her sleep. Those who could never accept this small blind girl standing by their master's side did not last long. When they attacked, she killed them without mercy and without emotion. for this was her place in the world now. I've seen so many things. So much killing. So much dying. I've seen you, little Damn. brother. That ginger vitus stole. <laughs> blood. An arena full of secrets. The freaking man needs some toothbrushes. In the darkness and the light. If you've seen it, why can't you just tell me? I'm sorry, Twinblade. Alright, plot. All our paths are. But before I leave, brother, so she got some sick tats, though. For oh, yeah. Birthdays I've missed. You know what's a present? Freaking XP. It's freaking XP, that's what it is. <laughs> All she gives you is XP. I actually thought for a second she actually gave you like a, a spell or some shit. No, it's freaking XP. And I find it kind of ironic because either way, you're gonna get XP for the quest, so pretty much you're getting your reward anyway. You just fit it into the plot. Or leave me alone. I'm dead anyway. I'm no one's king anymore. Okay, so you can end Twinblade, and if you do, he's just gonna fight you back like a slow ass. But uh, that's uh, if you kill Twinblade, it's evil for whatever reason. Cause I don't even know why you want to spare this guy. I really don't know. But uh, I'm gonna do it for you know, for the sake of the game, just because. I'm trying to do like a good like a good playthrough here. Bam. Break up, uh, break. Okay. Let's go this way. 
Don't forget to loot this guy, cause it'd be a shame if you just, you know, just leave it out taking his crap. This guy has meat. What else he has? 500 gold, not bad. See, that's the one thing I love about main quests. It usually stacks you. Another file that I don't need. Okay, so we might as well leave at this point. Time to leave. See you later, Tomblade. So if you leave, then that's it. You did the good version, and you don't kill him. You can see, quest is complete. You get, that is your trophy. You get stuff, and you get, uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's a shitload of XP, but still. Eh. And look at that. Now we're loaded. I told you. It happens. Every time you do a quest, you get loaded. Can Abby, can I save actually? Okay, cool. So, I think I'm gonna end it for now. But right before that, I might as well you have go take a nap in the game. And. Oh, what, what are up with all these guys in your bed? Why is this bed? I suggest you return here. All right, we gotta have to find like an unoccupied tent because I want to. I want to get that level three. I can't believe I got kicked out just because I walked a little bit too much out of the side. I knew I kind of felt I was treading on thin ice, but I felt nah. I'm gonna pull it off, and I did it. So, what is up with this? Where is? I'm seriously about to like. Oh, three apples, nice. All the beds are being used. What is up with that? Can I can I wake him up or something? Get up, man! Watch your bed. Boom. Let's leave it. <laughs> I woke him up and took his bed. That is hilarious. Go or you will pay. Yeah, screw you. All right. So at this point, you can leave the camp just by teleporting. But hold up, I wanna, I wanna do another round. I wanna get this done, and then I'm gonna get a haircut. And get rid of that disgusting mustache. It's horrendous. But it's funny. I will not lie. It's funny, but it's not the mustache for the hero. It's not the mustache the hero deserves. Man, how long until it takes for these guys to show up? I want to go and finish this so I can level up and buy some stew. Because with that 7k, ooh man, I'm going to buy some stuff. Maybe I'll buy a crib and uh, a bow. I'm not sure. Oh yes, finally. <laughs> it's probably my favorite emotion in the game. <laughs> so bloody evil, yet yeah, you can still use it as a good guy. Alright. Oh, they're lining up. Cool. Alright. Why do you show up shirtless, though? I will never understand. Okay, where is the leader? Oh, here he is. He's, he's taking his time. Yo, hurry up. I got stoof to do, man. And this time, I'm actually gonna fight properly. In other words, I'm not gonna push you out of the ring and try to like knock you out before it's over. All right then. So I'll see you guys next time, where we'll not only finish this fight club thingy, but we're gonna level up, possibly buy some new gear, maybe get a house, and also continue on in the main quest unless we have enough renown. Hold on, let me see. Do I have the renown for this quest? Oh, I, I don't have to accept it. I hope I have enough renown for the Hobbit quest. The Hobbit quest, because it gives a pretty decent amount of money. If not, we'll just continue on the main or do something, but if, we, if so, then we're doing that quest. Catch you guys later.